Conor McGregor returns to the UFC Octagon on January 18th against Donald Cowboy Cerrone in a fight that has huge implications, not just for him, but for the entire UFC going forward. I sat down with my fellow SCMP sports reporter, Patrick Blennerhassett, to get his take on the big fight. So Patrick, Conor McGregor v Donald Cowboy Cerrone, who's going to win? Conor McGregor, although I think it's, uh, I don't know, you never know. Easy, taking the easy way out, but yeah. let's make a case for Cowboy, how does he beat Conor? I think this is an interesting fight because McGregor's not known to go for a lot of rounds and this is a fight that could go five full rounds and Cerrone is a journeyman, he's been fighting a lot lately. A lot lately. McGregor's been promoting his whiskey lately. Uh, there might be some serious rust here for the Notorious. Yeah, uh, October 2018, last time he fought against Khabib Namagomedov. That was at lightweight. This fight is 170 pounds welterweight. Mm -hmm. Does that play into Connor's hands or is that going to play into Cowboy's hands? I think that plays into Cowboy's hands. This is not McGregor's sort of usual weight. Uh, he's had some difficulty with heavier fighters in the past, I want to say. Um, you know, Cerrone brings a lot of sort of just muscle. I mean, he's a big boy. He likes to ground and pound. He likes to get dirty. McGregor's a bit more of a tactician, a skilled assassin, as you would say. So, I don't know. this. Everybody's saying McGregor and the UFC wants McGregor to win. The marketing team at the UFC wants McGregor <laughs> to win. But if Cerrone wins this, man, that's it's going to throw a real wrench in everybody's plans. Yeah, it's must win for Conor and you'd think the UFC will be hoping he wins because if he does win, it sets up huge fights down the line. Potentially George Masvidal, mm -hmm. Khabib and the Magomedov, if they want to go down the route of that rematch. Mm -hmm. Could you contemplate him not winning? What would happen then? Jeez, I don't even know. What do they do then? Basically, they've got to take McGregor and kind of put him back into the mix. Does he have to fight his way back up to the top? Obviously, Cerrone is not going to get a title shot or anything like that. I mean, this guy's basically put into this fight to be kind of a warm-up for McGregor. So if he turns around and wins, which happens in the UFC, I mean, we've seen this happen a lot of times. A big name comes back, goes into a fight, and just gets knocked out with a lucky hit or a quick submission. So. Um, this is going to be an interesting fight to watch, probably simply for the fact that we want to make sure that McGregor wins, or everybody wants to see McGregor <laughs> win, basically. Yeah, and he's looking in good shape. He looks huge. He looks jacked. Yeah, he looks huge, man. He's jacked. Yeah, Coach John Kavanaugh says he's never been better. Yeah. So, with that in mind, can you contemplate an upset? I'm not going to put any money on it, but I don't know. I, I'm always with two minds with McGregor. One, I love to hate the guy, and I hate to love the guy. <laughs> Very Some good. of the stuff that comes <laughs> out of his mouth is horrible trash, but he's also hilarious. He's fun to watch. I'll totally admit, you know, the 13-year-old boy in me loves a braggadocious guy like him. So, you know, every time he wins, I'm torn, but you gotta, you gotta love a guy like that who's just an old school runs his mouth as much as his fist, so. It brings more interest into the wider world yeah. of MMA, right? From casual fans. Yeah, he's a, as much as it pains me to say this, he's a pretty decent ambassador for the sport outside of yeah. all of, if you somehow are able to take away all of the horrible things he's done, um, he's taken the UFC to a new level. And there's not a lot of fighters that can do that. You've had fighters like George St. Pierre, who's probably the nicest guy ever outside of the ring. He was a great ambassador, but for completely different reasons. McGregor's filling that sort of villainous role a little bit. Um, Khabib, who has the title right now, I don't even think I've heard the guy speak. Like, <laughs> he's a great fighter, but he's not going to sell sports drinks. He's not going to have his own brand of whiskey. McGregor's just in a class of his own. He brings that X factor that I think the UFC has been missing for a while. So. Yeah, he brings money as well, <laughs> he right? He brings a lot of cash too, yeah. 2.4 yeah. million pay-per-view buys for his last fight. Oof. He's already sold out the arena in Las Vegas, the T-Mobile arena. Mm -hmm. $10 million plus gate. Mm -hmm. He's a different level to anyone they've got, surely, right? There's a lot of people with a lot of money at stake who are cheering for McGregor, which I think makes this really interesting because that's the thing with the UFC is you never know on fight night, right? Sure, and he has called for that rematch with Khabib. So mm -hmm. Khabib's fighting Tony Ferguson in April. Mm -hmm. Let's say Khabib gets through that one. 
Khabib doesn't want to fight Conor again. He thinks he needs to get a few more wins. Khabib wants to fight one of your Canadian mob, George St. Pierre. You like that fight more than Khabib v. Conor? I, I love James, George St. Pierre because I'm Canadian, but I'm not in the camp that thinks that St. Pierre can still compete, especially against a guy like Khabib. And I do think that Khabib has a bit of a point here. McGregor got beat handily by him. He hasn't fought in a while. There's a lot of other guys that Khabib could fight next, but problem is McGregor's got the ear of Dana White because he's such a cash grab. <laughs> so he could, if he beats Cerrone, he can basically call up Dana White or just pull him aside after the fight and say, I want Khabib. And Khabib is gonna basically have to agree to that because that's where the money is. So. Yeah, I'd love to see St. Pierre take on Khabib, but maybe if you put St. Pierre in a time machine and <laughs> send him back in time five years and then had the fight, but uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think, I, I don't really want to see that one, that's for sure. I'm going to I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I'm going to say McGregor in the second round. Bold. TKO, yeah. <laughs> TKO, I'm going to be bold here, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, or... Uh, Cerrone by split decision, which would be the worst possible thing for everybody, but it, I think is probably something that could possibly happen. Cerrone could just tough it out for five rounds and uh, maybe etch out a win on points, which would be the worst thing for the marketing team to deal with. Wouldn't that be a problem? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thanks Patrick. Appreciate you giving us your opinion and insight and analysis. Yeah, let's see what happens on fight night. I'll be there. I'm ready for this. In Vegas. You yeah. Know, right? No, I oh. wish I, I was going to Vegas. Yeah, no. sadly, we'll be in Hong Kong. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for chatting. Thanks.